So my name is Peter Osorio. I'm uh, 12 from Las Vegas, Nevada. My work was looking at the De Constantia, um, finding a Stoic framework within there, um, specifically in the topics of determinism. So that would include fate, providence, things like human agency and free will, moral responsibility. Peter's task was to do his own reconstruction of what was available in the 16th century um, uh, based on the books that he knew Lipsius read. So this is one thing that's really extraordinary about his project is that he was able to work that out. Stoicism was a, a Hellenistic philosophy um, that started in third century Greece and was really active until maybe the second or third century AD, um, kind of transferred from Greece to Rome. Um, a very coherent system of thought and systematic. Um, it has three parts, physics, logic, and ethics. There's been a traditional understanding of what Lipsius is doing with his philosophy and his use of Stoicism in the work. I think in the last chapter of my thesis, I try and propose a modified version of how we should be reading what Lipsius is doing. Peter's project is groundbreaking in two ways. Um, it's groundbreaking locally in that um, within the classics department, we most of the projects have been centered in the ancient world. It's also groundbreaking just in scholarly terms. There's a kind of conventional view that's developed which says that at the time Lipsius wrote the De Constantia on constancy, the work that, Lip that Peter worked on, um, he didn't really understand the Stoic position. Peter was able, with the sources that he assembled um, and his close reading of the De Constantia, to establish that, in fact, he had a very good understanding of Stoicism at the time he wrote the De Constantia. The biggest challenge was trying to uncover what Lipsius knew um, without knowing who, what his sources were and at what time he had read them and how familiar he would have been with them. We can't really judge his use of Stoicism without that knowledge. And building that knowledge was the most difficult piece of it. He has gained a kind of confidence in himself and in his abilities that he didn't have before. He may have suspected that he had this in him, but um, to have completed this project to find what he was able to do and to hear, as he now will be hearing for the next month, uh, from people who have read what he's done, how they react to it. Um, it's, it's a tremendous personal validation so that even if he goes on and takes his other major and becomes an economist, um, I think that that's something he'll carry with him. If you're thinking of doing an honors project, I would say, you might have some, it's good to have an idea at the very beginning of what you want to do, but be very open to change your ideas. What I ended up doing was not what I proposed in my thesis proposal. Um, so having an open mind, talking with your professor, things are going to change from what you think you're going to be writing about, um, but just know that's part of the process.